This overlooks Ritz, the hideaway. I wonder if they have the chow, my God, it is, wow. Not for the audio. The noise behind is them trying to have the world's sexiest man competition. I passed by earlier about 10 minutes ago and zero signups. I'm not doing it, the whole, no. So I'm here in the Overlook, I think that's what it's called. And that's, wait, here in the Overlook, they do have a specialty cocktail, the Overlook Spritz. Uh, that's what's in it. And that's what it looks like IRL, not bad. Actually, that is pretty darn good. I guess they haven't found enough contestants because it's past time and the music is still going. Well, cheers with the overall, overall, Overlook Spritz. Yes, it is a very girly drink, indeed. And yes, it is the palate of the ship. I'll come and check these things out tomorrow, hopefully when everybody is ashore in uh, Mexico. There's that one, and then there's one over here. I don't know if it's reservation only or anything. That would kind of, oh, that would be disappointing. Fortunately, they found contestants, so the show did go on. All right, let's catch up the burger. Really good. You know, I hate to say it, surprisingly good. Seems someone at Royal Caribbean does not want to cede the burger wars to everybody else, it seems. All right, thing is, it wasn't upcharge, so that is something to consider. I get it, Royal Caribbean, a family line, not a premium line, but does even the upcharge put it in the premium category where it's complimentary? No, it doesn't, in fact, I think guys still has the edge on this. But hey, a good solid effort, you know what? Keep trying and you know what? You might actually be a contender. Not bad. Oh, the feta in the um, the tosti, oh, crostinis. A very mild, very mild and whipped with honey. That was unsurprising, unsurprising. That was surprising in a good way. So I did enjoy that. But if, you're, if you do not like that um, very intense type cheese, yeah, this was actually, uh, pretty good all right the crown thing what is it i didn't even know what it's called the crown's edge okay fun but <laughs> oh my god the whole lead up takes 20 times longer than the actual experience the actual experience as probably has been pointed out hundreds of times is incredibly short it is not even a minute i think you saw it hopefully you saw it because hopefully hopefully the system worked and i got the video but I don't know that it's worth, I think I paid $68 finally after, after the price changed three times. Aye, aye, aye. So keep that in mind. I don't know, it's very small, Royal. I don't know if this ever came up, but maybe if, if the guest swung around to the other side and that's where the unload station was, it might be worth it. But that little thing is, yeah, it, it's, better to go on the included ropes course on like Norwegian Getaway or Norwegian Escape. You can go as many times as you want. Actually, I think some of the carnival ropes courses have the over the water uh, jump jump line. Uh, spring line? No, what is this thing? The over the water thing. What is it called right now? Doesn't matter. That's complimentary. And this was $88, $68. Oh well, you know what they're probably gonna do? They're gonna do a bolt and cut it down to like $30 in a month. Either way. <sighs> All right, well, I'm gonna look at the schedule, see what's going on, it's just kinda chill. This is a very nice space, it is really nice. Okay, um, maybe it's nap time. Yes, but not in the direct sun. Here we have some binoculars, okay, and they are pointed at other guests. Okay, not creepy at all. Then there's this. And no, I did not point them at other guests for dramatic effect. I found them that way. I did. I can say quite definitively though, moving the aqua theater forward, great choice, great choice. Because in the surf side, wherever, you can actually see the water. So that means you can see the water from both ends of the ship. What's your favorite aqua theater show? Subscribe to find out what mine is. But I've only seen two. So it's probably this one, which is why you have to subscribe and hit the like button, please. Rehearsals are going on again. I guess we could just watch this for a while. 
after sort of a nap, I think it's time for a special coffee, then, oh, well, a cookie. I'm gonna go get one of those chocolate chip cookies from Pearl Cafe. They're that good. Seriously, these look a little, I don't know, like dangerous? I was chatting with a pinnacle earlier and apparently there's over a thousand kids on this sailing. Yeah, I, I'm not, I'm not going to even try to argue. For the first time, I can feel a slight movement of the ship. Oh boy. I know at least one loyal member of the court enjoys espresso martinis and here on Icon of the Seas, they have them basically on tap. Yes, there's a machine that just dispenses these. They do the foam separately, but okay. tasty with Kahlua all right then yes I did get my cookie I know I know everyone was just in suspense over that they do have other coffee cocktails here and well in the interests of science I will try them all every afternoon well the afternoon is it's pretty long so don't judge I reservated at the dining room for tonight but I really never got a chance to examine this, and um, you know what? Okay, terrible segue, but look at all of this, and falafel, chicken, pork, there they are. Yep, I'm probably just gonna come here. It is lobster night in the dining room, and probably means it's going to be a madhouse with everyone clamoring for their free lobster. No thanks, I'll pass. We'll, we'll try the swim-up bar and the water slides tomorrow all right oh controversy maybe i don't know people are talking about a recent crown and anchor change allowing pinnacles to bring a guest in like into like the the thing the what is it the coastal kitchen and something else i not really sure why or what conversation it was but i think this might just be uh you know an officializing of something that they kind of already did i don't know that's just my thought and i don't know why i think that just, it would have been random conversations with Miggles. Perhaps even an invite into uh, myself. Huh, now, all right, I'll think about it, but yeah. Here's the thing, do not tell me, do not tell me that they would deny a band of pitchfork-wielding Pinnacles <laughs> taking a guest into a coastal kitchen. Yeah, I, I just don't, I'm, I'm sure, I'm sure it's happened many times. Oh yeah. We found our first, you can't get there from here. I came up these stairs here, only to find this giant green wall and a dead end there, with no way to get up there. Okay, this is not something I had anticipated. And tonight is dressy night in the dining room. Even more a reason to skip. Yes, having to dress up for a meh menu. There you go, not a problem. Not a problem, that is how you stay just comfortably whelmed on a cruise. In case I didn't show you, that is the mechanism, the trapdoor mechanism. And step forward, step forward, come on. Ay, ay, ay. Here we go, uh, bah, come on, come on, ay, come on. I don't plan on getting off the ship at Coco Key. This looks like a much better water park than is on the island, and it's complimentary. The Thrill Water Park was $159 last time I checked, and look, even on a sea day, beautiful day, there's barely any line. Which makes me wonder, maybe the water park at Coco Key is not selling as well as they hoped, and this is, I don't know, they, they decided, eh, we'll just put them on the ship. Let's go watch the Flow Rider for a little bit. That's always fun. When you want to talk, all we want you to do is sit down, look at your head, let the water take you to the top, and it will be heavy, so that's why. When you get to the top, give us a thumbs up. Thumbs up, but then you're okay to exit table two, exit door. After almost a whole day, I'm finally making it to the hideaway. This is where the $1,300 loungers are. The $1,300 in-pool loungers are, and they're taken. They're taken. Hey, if you are into that, this, wow, it looks nice. And here we are at the Hideaway Bar. These are nice and yes, depending on how crowded it is, well, sea day, court day, these might be a perfect napping spot. Look at all of this space. You know what, I never 
I never slept outside on Norwegian Prima. Well, you know that. But something something I actually would like to try. Because those those beds, like by the water. Hey, you know what? If you reserve the bed in the pool, ooh. I'm trying. I really am trying. I keep forgetting to take thumbnail pictures. So heading back to Crown's Edge. 